Ukrainian officials stated that Russian forces aim to capture Bakhmut by the first anniversary of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. But this, according to the Institute for the Study of War, would require a significantly higher rate of Russian advance than anything seen for many months. Wagner Group leader recently stated that he expects his fighters to encircle Bakhmut by March or April and Prigozhin's pragmatic assessments of Russian advances in the Bakhmut area have generally been closer to tactical realities than assessments forecasting rapid Russian advance, notes the think tank. Russian forces do not appear to be quickening their rate of advance around Bakhmut and are unlikely to meet this reported goal of the 24th of February. Ukrainian forces could always decide that the costs associated with holding Bakhmut are too high and voluntarily withdraw from the city, although Ukrainian forces and leaders continue to indicate that they intend to hold the city. The UK Defence Ministry released its estimate saying Russian Ministry of Defence and private military contractor forces have likely suffered up to 200,000 casualties since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. This likely includes approximately between 40 to 60,000 killed. Wagner forces have deployed large number of convict recruits. Now, these have probably experienced a casualty rate of up to 50 now, by modern standards, these figures represent a high ratio of personnel killed compared to those wounded. And this is almost certainly due to extremely rudimentary medical provision across much of the force.